Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you everything that is in my January morning basket. I cannot wait to share with you guys all of the books, all of the goodies, all of everything. So I have my basket right here. It's empty because I have all the books laid out, so I cannot wait to show you guys everything. So you guys, if any of you are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls. I have a 10, three, and a two-year-old. So I'm really excited about January's morning basket because I feel like out of all of the morning baskets that I did, I feel like I was a lot more intentional with this basket. I really want us to continue to read a lot within our homeschool. I really feel like I have been slacking <laughs> on that department. I really have been focusing so much on um, not ma making sure that we're not behind like in our core curriculum. However, now that I feel like we are at a good place in our core curriculum, I am really gonna bring back all those enrichment things in our morning basket, in our morning time. So uh, <laughs> let me stop rambling you guys and go ahead and show you everything that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Bible. So last quarter, we actually studied God's 10 Promises or the 10 Commandments, and my daughter really enjoyed it. We uh, studied it for like three months, and uh, we had so much fun. So this quarter, we are going to be studying the Fruits of the Spirit. So I'm really excited about us digging in deep into this book written about the Fruits of the Spirit. So far, we have already gone over love and joy. So I'm really, really happy about um, continuing to use uh, this series right here for explaining the fruits of the spirits. Now this book right here pairs really really good with the Character Matters cards from September & Co. And um, right now I am just having my daughter um, memorize each one of the memory verses that goes along with the characters. So for love, she has been memorizing 1 Corinthians 13, verse four through seven, love is patient, love is kind, that whole uh, memory verse. And it's really been going good. And I really love how um, this book right here and these September and Co cards have been uh, pairing really, really well together. We read only two stories a week in here. It has discussion questions and activities and things we can do along with the devotion so I just really like to take my time. I really want um, these things and these concepts to be solidified within my daughter because Bible is really an important time in my household for us and my family. So I'm really excited for us to go on into our next unit. Along with Bible, you guys, you already know, I love this little devotional book, How God Grows a Courageous Girl. My daughter really has been enjoying uh, reading this devotional. When we don't have time to do like our unit study, which I just showed you for Bible, which is the fruits of the spirit, we have like a busier day, it's a crazier morning. We will always read this devotion book and we will go over our character, we will say our prayer, we'll read our poem, and that will end off our morning Bible, especially for those days when it's chaotic with my two toddlers. So um, I am still enjoying this little devotional. We are halfway through, the, through with this one. So I'm gonna find, I need to find like another devotional for her so um we've been loving this i really feel like this is good for any girls ages 8 to 10. um it really has good messages and good meanings for girls i think they do have another one for the boys as well but um we've been enjoying this little devotional right here now uh, another thing that's in my morning basket that has been in it for a while is my single song of seasons you guys already know i wasn't a believer at first but it's still inside my morning basket i'm really loving going back to january because we started this one off in august so we're really getting a chance to really see this book's full potential by being able to go back to january and my daughter loves reading these poems in sing a song of season so um yeah it's still in the morning basket <laughs> Now, as far as like my books that I'm gonna be reading with my two younger toddlers, um, I was able to pull back out some of their favorites back on our bookshelf. We had our fall and our winter books, and uh, since it's January, I figured I would go ahead and put their two favorites back on our bookshelf, which is I Am Enough and I Believe I Can. You guys, I know, you already know how many times I mentioned these books here on my channel, but I really love these books right here. They're so inspirational, they're so, they're so encouraging, and I really feel like to kickstart our new year, I just wanted to go ahead and put back a favorite on our bookshelf. So I'm really happy to continue to read these two amazing picture books to my daughters. Another book that I have that I am reading with my two toddlers is I believe, or from head to 
from head to toe from Eric Carl. You guys, I love Eric Carl. They love Eric Carl. And I just really figured this would be a really good book to add in to our mix and to our morning like picture book type of read aloud. Um, again, I'm just going along with the uh, encouragement, motivational type of theme for um, our picture books that I'm displaying on my, my bookshelf for uh, the month of January. So they have been enjoying this one. I really like the rhyme and repetition within Eric Carl's books. And it really has been helping my middle daughter, Leia, who has a speech delay. It's really helping her with her vocabulary by me reading to her uh, more books like this with uh, rhyme and repetition in them. Now you guys, if you already see my channel, I am doing preschool with my two toddlers. I have officially added them into the mix and they are going to be doing a color unit from the new curriculum we are doing, which is playing preschool. So I have a big stack right here of all of the books that we are going to be reading with our color unit. And I just want to go ahead and share them with you guys because this is gonna be a part of my morning basket, a part of my morning time. I'm really trying to just um, have a natural flow from our Bible time to our uh, reading time and then on to the rest of our core work for my oldest daughter. So I figured by adding in our read aloud for our play in preschool uh, in our morning basket, it would be the best way to go. So we're not reading all these books at once, but these are all the books we're going to get through in our colors unit, which is going to last us for two weeks. So the first one again from Eric Carl is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I have Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. You guys, if you have any toddlers, this Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes has a really cute um, song on YouTube um, and it's like a read aloud edition and my daughters, they love following the pages of the book and listen to the read aloud. And now when I read this book, they don't want me just to read it to them. They want me to do like the song and all of the things. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you have any toddlers, definitely check out that YouTube video, uh, Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. So I have 10 black dots. I have mouse paint. This is actually the book we're doing this week and it's talking about how to, um, it's showing the kids how two colors, when they mix together, they turn into another color. So this is really an awesome book for uh, going over um, primary colors and secondary colors for the younger ones. So this is our book we've been reading right now and it's been awesome. We've already read Freight Train for our first two days of our colors unit. And this one was a cute one as well, you guys. I really love um, all of the bright illustrations in this uh, picture book. And it really helped solidify those colors with my, um, my two younger toddlers. So yeah, this one was definitely a good one. And I'm happy that we're still uh, reading this along with our colors unit. I have green that I checked out from the library too. I have Harold and the Purple Crayon. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get a bad message from this book, but I'm so excited to read this one with them when we get to this one. And then the last book that I have for my younger toddlers is The Rainbow Fish. So I'm really excited about all of these books that I'm adding in for my toddlers. Now for Brielle, by the time you guys are watching this video, Martin Luther King Day has already passed. However, uh, we are spending this whole week going over a little mini Martin Luther King unit. Um, my daughter actually started homeschooling her second half of second grade. So she's never really had an opportunity to really learn about Martin Luther King um, throughout her elementary school years when she was in um, her, early el her early elementary school years when she was in public school before I pulled her out to homeschool. So I really wanted to uh, give her uh, some true gentle history this year. So we've really been focusing on Martin Luther King. The main book we have been reading this week is The Story of Martin Luther King Jr. And you guys, I really love uh, these books, The Story of, because I love how they have, they have these really thought provoking questions right here. Um, that they ask the kids to really think about um, just different things that happen within Martin's life and how would they feel, how would they react, and it's really uh, allowing her to critically think. And at the end of the book, you guys, it's a little comprehension check. So I feel like this, um, if you see it, 
So there's the little comprehension check at the end. So I feel like these little books were really, really good in explaining um, just Martin Luther King's life and the historical facts around his life, uh, the civil rights movement. It did an awesome job. It did an awesome job of giving gentle history. And I really loved too how it highlighted vocabulary words that, you know, your kids may not know um, that you want to go over with them so they can really understand the text. And then in the back of this book, it also has a glossary. So um, I have really been enjoying this one. If you guys already know, I'm definitely still a Who Was fan, but this book, it just, you know, it added a little oomph to <laughs> our uh, study this week. So I have really been enjoying this one. Uh, but again, I do have Who Was Dr. Martin Luther King. This one does go a little bit more in depth. This one, if you have an early elementary age kid, maybe, um, I'll say first through third. This one will be a good one to start off. Three through seven, I really think that um, it's appropriate for the Who Was books because they do go a little bit deeper. But um, both of these books have been amazing this week. Now I'm gonna show you guys another one that I have from last year that I read with my daughter. And this is I Am Martin Luther King. And again, for the gentleness of the content, I feel like these two are uh, gentle in content. I feel like the Who Was book, um, it's really hitting some um, hard truths. So um, if you guys were wondering where to start in your MLK journey or in your Martin Luther King studies, um, I just want to kind of rate them as far as uh, gentleness and um, truths, just because this is a really sensitive topic. And I definitely want to make sure when I present this information to my daughter about, you know, the civil rights movement, about this time that I am uh, creating an atmosphere where she can absorb the information and I'm not giving her too much all at once so I've been enjoying my collection that I have been collecting so far so uh, yeah now, um, something else that is inside of our morning basket is we are doing an Africa continent study. Uh, we are using Amazing Africa from the Heritage Mom blog, and it's really been going great. I really uh, love diving into each country within Africa. So I'm gonna share with you guys the picture books that we are going to be using for this month during our Africa study. So the picture book we're gonna be reading is A is for Africa. We're gonna be reading Beatrice Goat. We're also going to be reading Ashanti to Zulu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, you guys. And then the two main books that goes along with the uh, Amazing Africa patch, it, or the Amazing Africa pack is Africa is not a country. And Africa, Amazing Africa, country by country. Now this book, you guys, I really love this book. The pictures in this book is, is beautiful. I love the illustrations in here. And I really like how it gives you tidbits about um, each of the countries you are going on. And you guys, a lot of times as we read about each of the countries in this Africa book right here, my daughter, she loves to go on rabbit trails. We're also making like a really cool interactive notebook. So while I'm reading to her all of the different facts and information from the picture books, from this reference book we're using, she is doing like an interactive journal. She's coloring. She is uh, writing down facts about each country. And then she's actually asked me to take it a little bit further and she wants to start uh, adding in different like scrap notebook paging in within each country, maybe like a food she uh, wanted to add in, in it. So she's really getting creative with her interactive um, Africa notebook that we're doing too. So those are the picture books as well. Now you guys, for our main read aloud that we are reading for the month of January is on the banks of Plum Creek. You guys, I tried my best to show my daughter so many other books uh, for us to kind of get off this Little House on the Prairie series. However, you guys, she just wants to keep on going. Uh, we have already read Little House in the Big Woods, we've read Farmer Boy, and we also read Little House on the Prairie. Now, Little House on the Prairie was not me and my daughter's favorite. However, it did end really, really well. Um, that So I really still will give that one a good rating because it ended beautifully. I love Love the message behind the end of the Little House on the Prairie uh, book. So we're going along with the series. I tried to get her to read The Long Winter because we're in winter, but my daughter, she loves reading books step by step by step. So we are on On the Banks of Plum Creek. However, you guys, this next month, since it is Black History Month, I told my daughter I get to pick 
the book because it's Black History Month and I really want us to focus on uh, something that's going to uh, really let us dive deep in the month of February. So uh, yeah, so for right now, we are still continuing with the Little House on the Prairie books, but um, yeah, she, <laughs> she can't pick for the month of February. So you guys, since we're talking about books and we're talking about morning baskets, I have a little pile right here of some personal books that I'm reading that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys too, just because it is fun seeing all of the reading and the picture books we're doing with our kids. However, I just wanted to change it up a bit and show you guys uh, some of the uh, devotions and some of the reading that I am doing personally. Um, I'm really trying to up my game this year on uh, reading more and being less in technology as far as me just scrolling. Rolling. I really want to be intentional with the time that I do have by myself without the kids and I really don't want to spend it idly just always uh, just online. Um, I know I film, I know I edit, I know I'm trying my best to be on Instagram more and doing all of the things for uh, I guess my fun content creating side of things but as far as personally I do want to get more into books. So I'm going to share with you guys some devotionals that I'm reading right now. So I'm reading this devotional and it's called Trusting God Day by Day by uh, Joyce Myers. I really have been enjoying this one. I actually started this devotional in October. So it's a 365 day devotional. So I just started back at January and you guys, sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I don't have like that hour or that 30 minutes in the morning to be able to do my devotion. Sometimes you guys, all I have is like five, 10 minutes. But if anything, I pick up this book, I pray to God, I do the scripture reading and I go on about my day. I'm trying my best to wake up earlier and to spend more time time in the morning with God. However, I'm doing the best that I can in a season of life. And these devotions right here has really been helping me uh, dive in deeper into the Bible. So I've really been enjoying this devotional. I also read this one and it's from the same publisher as my daughter's book, How God Grows a Courageous Girl. And this one's called Worry, Worry Less and Pray More, A Woman's Devotional Guide to, to Anxiety-Free Living. And you guys, I really love just the tidbits and the messages and the prayers within this because some days this is what I need. I need to know that I just need to lay it all at God's feet and trust him in my life, in my homeschool and everything. So I've really been enjoying this devotional. Now, as far as two reading books that I have been reading, I have been, you guys, this is like my second month straight trying to be consecutive or to be consistent with this book. It's wonderful every time I get through another chapter, but I just need to be more consistent. And this one is called Rhythms of Renewal from Rebecca Line, Line, Linens. And you guys, this was a recommendation from Tori from the Oglesby Ohan and her recommendations for her books, you guys, it never fails. I really have been enjoying this one. I've been enjoying the journaling pages at the end. And I really think that this is helping me in my motherhood um, outside of just homeschool mom, everything like that. It's helping me um, just for me. So I really have been enjoying reading this book. And for homeschool purposes, of course, we have to read a homeschool book. I'm reading Homeschool Bravely. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not liking this as much as I have liked The Call to the Wild and Free. That one was beautiful. However, uh, I just wanted to see what Homeschool Bravely was about. It's good so far, um, but it's not as good as the other book that I, the other homeschooling book that I have read. If you guys like have any like homeschooling books you want to recommend to me, go ahead and link them down uh, below in the comments so I can check them out as well. So you guys, that is everything inside of my January morning basket. Um, I know I have a lot of stuff and I know I am biting off a lot of literature, but I really hope we can uh, dive in deep into more books this uh, coming semester. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.